Welcome back to my channel. It's your boy D. Dyson. X-Men 97 episode 8. Man, we're getting close to the series finale and um, finally getting like a quick backstory of Bastion and how they understand who Bastion is. I know he they dealt with him before, but now he's kind of like upgraded, I guess. So he's uh, a descendant from like Nimrod. Nimrod was uh, uh, a sentinel in the future went back in time and took this baby and, and injected him with all kind of stuff and made him like that so we kind of got the good backstory about him and the thing I liked about this episode the most is the cameos we saw uh, Zemo we saw Doctor Doom and we saw Spider-Man so I'm telling myself we're in the realm of the Avengers are in here and you have the X-Men. So like I said, I've always looked at the X-Men like they had to deal with every threat with the cosmic, supernatural, and the street level. So you have these different threats that the X-Men always had to face. So what better person to introduce these, uh, these three different elements into the MCU to really go into live action? And I like most about this was when Cyclops was saying, yeah, nobody messes with the Summers. And I was like, yeah. And you can kind of see Gene was like, oh, bro. Like, because he it was just really him, Gene Gray, and their son, Nathan, which is Cable. And I was just like, and dealing with those. And then what we finally, finally got was Wolverine in action. And then we got Nightcrawler in action. When he was just like, I got six threes. I was like, Woo! Let's get it, Logan. And then Nightcrawler came in the back and was like, no, nine. And then he had two katanas and then one katana on his tail. I said, yeah, let's get it. Because I had never seen Nightcrawler wheel katanas before. So I was like, yeah, this is dope. This is a good episode. I'm, I can't lie to you. This is a good episode, but nothing is beating episode five. That was emotional. That was action packed. It was everything I wanted. But this episode was really good. And then <clears throat> at the tail end of it, we get Charles Xavier coming back, you know, like, man, X-Men, my X-Men, like, come to me. And he just helmed Beast, Storm, Cyclops, uh, who was, who was, and Jean Grey. It was like, y'all, y'all come here. You know, it was like, basically, it was like, the leaders of the X-Men come here. You know, it was, everybody was kept speculating of why. He only summoned those four, and I was like, because Logan and, and Nightcrawler were right there, so he didn't need to summon them. They were right there. Um, and also, everybody was like, yeah, that's Charles's favorites. And we do see, I forgot that girl's name, release Magneto. And the whole time, it was like, say something, Magneto, say something. And he just wouldn't say anything until like the very end when she finally released him. And he just left. He went like straight to the North Pole and was like, enough. And did a, uh, a electromagnetic wave throughout the whole world and knocked out every sentinel. And I was like, dude, you are powerful. Like, powerful, extremely powerful to do something like that. I feel like Magneto can blow up the Earth because that's what the Earth's core is really is, is, electro uh, is electromagnetic. So he can really shake Earth off its axis and, bl and destroy the world if he really wanted to. So I was telling myself, I'm like, to see how strong he is, and then to have Charles back, I love when everyone kept saying Magneto was right. I was like, that's dope. And then you see Jubilee and Roberto, and then you see Roberto kind of look like like the Human Torch. So I was like, okay, that that could very well be a Human Torch esque type of character. Um, that was like my first time really seeing him in his full you know, mutant of this is what he looks like. You know, he can fly. He, it's like a flame torch and like a, I was like, okay, okay, I'm ready. I'm ready to see. I really think that we're going to get Hulk. Uh, we're going to get Wolverine versus Hulk. And if we ever see Thanos, I think we'll save that for Deadpool and Wolverine to see why Thanos has three scars, which is the adam adamantium claws from Wolverine on his face. So I really want to see the backstory behind that or why Thanos has that. But I think that we can introduce Hulk and Wolverine go head to head against each other. I would love to see that in here. I would love to. Uh, we're going to get Rogue to wake up, but I'm wanting to see what Charles Xavier is going to do as far as he's probably going to resurrect Gambit or pull Gambit from another universe and be like, yeah, you're here. So 
I'm here for it. I can't wait for more. So, you guys enjoyed my review of X-Men 97 Episode 8. Subscribe to my channel. Post a comment down below and like the video. It's your boy, D. Dyson. Peace. Oh.